going to get interesting. So I left about 10 minutes later than I normally leave and as such I am now waiting for about three trains behind really heavy traffic and now there's people turning around so am I missing something or I'm moving at least this is a good sign so I'm feeling a little bit stressed out this morning I do not like leaving Ray when he's in pain I'm actually hating it I know that there's not much that I can do when I'm home but I just don't like knowing that he's at home in pain or uncomfortable and I, I just hate it. These things aren't exactly moving along in the better direction. It makes me really worried and stressed out and I just want it to all be finished and for him to be all better. That would be the ideal outcome of this whole thing. Anyway, this is just me ranting and raving about my life, which is basically what these vlogs are, so enjoy. Hello everybody for Tight Ass Tuesday. Hope everyone's having a good day. Not much happening today. I just had the nurse come in to change over my dressing on my belly. Um, she was very thorough, which is really good. The GP probably put me back a day um, in recovery with what he did because he only put some dressing over the top of the wound, whereas what he was meant to do was to pack some kind of like seaweed kind of dressing into the wound so that way it absorbs what's coming out and kind of sucks sucks out what's in there. It's a bit gross. We'll see tomorrow if I'm feeling better, if I'm less bloated. Because last night I was really bloated. Nurse coming again tomorrow, different nurse. Hopefully she'll do the same thing. Be a thorough. It, it kills when she sticks it in. Because they're really good. It's like a pen. They put the thing, or the, the swab on a pen. And then jab that into the wound. So you can imagine there's like a little slit. So what they do is they open it up. And then put the uh, swab into that. And then... um it absorbs it so he's hoping it starts to absorb more so the swelling goes down and the pain goes away i think that's what the surgeons were hoping for still sitting where i was when she did it i'm uh, not <laughs> game enough to get up just yet have some lunch uh let max out of the room because they're nurses and they ask for any animals to be put away just in case they attack the nurses i doubt max would ever do that but who knows, he might ever have a go. Had hopes of doing some more things to Savo, just tidying up and that, but yeah, just kind of get a bit drained and really want to rest to make sure my body's doing what it what it can to to get better. Max. Are you in there, Max? Where are you? Oh. You're quite happy in here, are you? Oh, now you're gonna come out. Back to your spot. Yep, back to your spot, have a sniff. No, we can't go outside. Walking around isn't too bad, so... I made my lunch. Chicken salad sandwich and some vegetable juice. Thank you, Lauren. And my mama for the chicken from yesterday and the rolls. I think I'm going to sit down here and watch the uh, NBA, because the Clippers game is on today. So that'll hopefully uh, cheer me up a little bit. Where are you going? Max? <laughs> He's been cuddling with me. And then I turn the camera on and he runs off. Beat the Clippers by two. No! Clippers lost. 102 to 100. Sorry, I should have said uh, spoilers. Anyone out there is uh, NBA fans? Oh, so disappointing. Went down to the wire. Get yourself beat up pretty easily by watching sport and seeing losers like most people with the Super Bowl. Max is... Still just loitering at that window. He just loves looking outside and smelling. Lauren should be back soon. Um, I think I might just tidy up a bit, just try and help Lauren out with the house. And I think I'll end up back in bed and watch another movie. Good afternoon, everybody. Oh, good evening, actually. It's like nearly 8 o'clock. Just headed home now from an appointment, and I cannot wait to get home. I am so very tired, as per usual. I'm kind of a broken record in that sense, but yes, I am tired. This week is actually the week that I start doing my regular hours, so I do actually have a day off, which this week is Thursday. And as of next week, I'll be having every single Wednesday off because I'm back at uni, and I'm going to need that day to study and write assignments and all of that stuff. Essentially, as of next week, I will pretty much have three jobs and that will be I'll be working, I'll be studying and I'll be YouTubing. My days will consist of work, study, edit, sleep and repeat. <laughs> going to get interesting. The main thing about doing these vlogs is that it actually forces me to take a break 
and go for a walk or get outside or go somewhere and do something other than just be cooped up in my house or cooped up at work all day and then coming home and just you know sitting on the couch it actually forces me to do stuff because I want to film good stuff and I want to you know share with you guys what is around me rather than just you know my house there will be some days that are like that though because let's just be honest there are a lot of days where it's just a big CBF all the way for now I'm glad that I'm doing the vlogs because yes it does force me to live a little while living my life that sounds confusing, doesn't it? I know what I mean. Hello, Max. <laughs> what are you doing, weirdo? You flossing on some string. This is one of his old toys. That little, like, mouse has fallen off the end. But he still enjoys it because he just chews on the string. Has he been keeping you company at least? Cuddling up? You watched a movie with me today. Oh, that's a nice kitty. Literally home around the time that I would start getting ready for bed. So, <laughs> question of the day today actually comes from Ray, right there. That guy, in case you didn't know who he was. Anyway, he wants to know what you guys would do in his situation. So whether or not, like with your days, when you've got multiple days off in a row and you're not really able to do much, like you've got limited movement and limited light energy, what would you do with your day? We'd probably just watch movies and watch YouTube and maybe edit a few things, muck around with the computer, mainly. It's amazing, we're planning to do stuff. The time just seems to go. Mm. When you're at work all day and you get home, you think, oh my God, I have no time to do anything. But when you have time to do something, time goes a lot quicker. <laughs> yeah, let us know in the comments below what you guys would do with your days. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Good morning, afternoon or night, whatever it is where you are. And we'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Mm. She is. Say bye, Max. Yeah, goodbye. So, got out last night, as you guys saw. What happened was the surgeon had this little little thing poking out in my belly button. The surgeon removed it in the surgery when I was knocked out. 